Hello, everybody. I'm so thrilled you're here. So today is our monthly, okay, it's like the longest title ever, Soulfully Aligned Business Expansion Experience. Blah. <laughs> I'm sure all my copywriter friends would be like, wow, that massively sucks. But I don't want you to expand your business by just going, what would sell? Holy shit, what could I do now? I want your expansion like soulfully aligned. Are we good? The reason this is called the experience is because it's not just me lecturing at you. It's really interactive. That's why I call it an experience. It's a workshop. So my, my goal every month is to create content. Some is going to be, um, this is actually like, we're going hardcore marketing today. We're going like marketing basics today. But what else? I'll also know myself. There shall be penduluming. There will be energy. It's not like, it's like a webinar where you're like, okay, get your left brains out and your little pens. Um, I, I like to present the concepts, but then I always track the energy. I'm like, oh, hold on, hold on. We got to clear something. So that's like an experience, right? So um, I do have some, have some pages. We don't, I'm committed to not doing PowerPoint. So we're all hiding out. So we're all here present. Um, so since you all are here, some of you know each other. Some of you have been in groups together. Some are maybe new to the community. And so Let's just take a moment and just, um, what are the questions? One, like one little sentence about, you know, if you want to talk about your business and then what are you coming for today? What are you looking for? Obviously I entitled it, you know, things to be in an offer, but what are you, what are you, what's your intention? What are you looking for? I just gave you like 36 questions there. I'm sure you're smart enough to figure out though. I was a therapist, right? You're not supposed to ask more than one question because God forbid the people, you know, have to think. So, so just really quickly, Really quick, name, your business, and if you have an intention for today. Hi, Jess. Jumping in. I'll jump in. Go ahead, Tammy. Uh, my name is Tammy Gulland, and I help women to take setbacks and turn them into success. And um, I'm here because I want to re-look at offers from an inspirational you know, like take what I know, put it away and then look at it with fresh eyes and get some inspiration as what another offer I might be creating. Okay, cool. Great. So Janice, um, welcome with just name, a little bit about your business and then what you want out of today. So who's next? Somebody go or I'll pick on you. <laughs> I'll go. <laughs> yeah, go ahead. How you doing? Uh, I'm Meryl. I'm from New Jersey. Um, I teach the art of transforming your emotions and your thoughts and your old patterns so that you have happier, healthier relationships, all right? You let go of the past, be able to embrace a happier future with more joy in your life. And today I'm just looking for some inspiration. Okay. Clearing a little clutter and, mm -hmm. you know. I hear you. You said, you said inspiration. You said really well what you did. I like that. That was a nice opening. I'm like, oh, I didn't know that. That was very clear. Very nice. Oh, thank you. All right. Lisa, you're kind of, you kind of, you're probably sort of similar with what Meryl said in different ways, but why don't you? Well, I've been focusing on, on really developing a niche. Mm -hmm. So I help senior level professional women over 50 who feel overweight, overtired, or overwhelmed to establish a healthy, sustainable lifestyle so that they have the habits, energy, and confidence to rock their personal and professional lives. Okay, I have to do a mic drop. Boom, so yeah. good, so good. We're gonna talk about, so she nailed some of the P's, right? So really good, really good. And do you have an intention for today? Um, Yeah, opening, you know, opening to ideas and inspiration that are soulfully aligned. Mm -hmm. Um. <laughs> to um, find find the best avenues to attract those ideal clients. Okay. And one of the things I've been struggling with is developing a really kick-ass lead magnet. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. Now that might not all come from today, but I love that you shared all that, right? And you never know. So I'm not, I'm not going to put a limit on the universe or God. Like anything can happen today. So we will say yes to anything that wants to occur. Perfect. I'm delighted that you're here. All right, Janice. I'm Janice Russell. I am the overwhelmed slayer who helps optimize your life after a medical diagnosis. 
whether it's a friend who's been impacted by ADHD, a neighbor who's diagnosed with diabetes, or maybe a coworker who just found out they have cancer. I help them learn how to cross off items from their to-do list, manage their paperwork, and optimize their time. This is done with individual coaching sessions and accountability. Um, and on that, what's your goal for today? Um, just to be open and be learn. Okay, cool. Nice. 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 Let's see. Dorothy. Um, hello. Hello, darling. I'm invisible today. Um, I am an acupuncturist and fertility coach, and I just had a feeling I had to get a little more back to basics with my fertility acupuncture marketing. Right. So just right, right. back to the beautiful. basics. <laughs> beautiful. Beautiful. And that's the thing, right? Like, it's not like a tattoo. It's not like you set it and forget it. Whenever you shift and or sometimes, you know, you start working with people at this end of the spectrum and you're like, oh, wait, now they've grown. Oh, crap. I got to, you know what I mean? Like, like it, it all changes. So it's like, oh, marketing basics. But this is going to, I know it's going to be really helpful. Some of it you might already have dialed in, right? And some of you are like, God, I never thought, thank, ah, I didn't think of that. Thank you. I got five things. So it's all going to be good. All right, Janet. Thank you, Dorothy, so much. Glad you're here, honey. Um, my name is Janet Cook. I am currently learning to coach and I want to work with women who have um, childhood trauma or deal with chronic illnesses and um, help them start their business, realize their idea from the uh, the beginning and help them develop their online presence. And I'm here to learn different marketing techniques and Perfect. think a different view. You will like the basics then. Very nice. Tina. You know, I haven't elaborated pitch yet. Currently I help uh -huh. other <laughs> entrepreneurs and business owners make videos for to promote their businesses, but I'm also trying to pivot to making my own content, producing it. So I don't have anything per se to market yet, but I think it's still good to be learning. Oh, but good. You know, perfect. Different perfect. ideas for the future. Okay. Anna Barrett. And then we go to Jenny. Yes. Hello. I'm Anna Barrett uh, from Norway. My mm -hmm. business is Powerful You, and I inspire and empower women to value themselves to empower women to value themselves and their expertise more, to be more visible and get new and better results by following following their unique path to success. Nice. What do you and do today? why I'm here today, I'm here to learn from Therese, yeah. which is great teacher, uh, to learn about strengthening my marketing message. Okay, perfect. This will really help. This will help. All right, Jenny, welcome, darling. Glad you're here. Hi, thank you. Sorry, I just got back from soccer, so I'm looking really haggard. <laughs> <laughs> like two minutes ago. Um, lovely to be here. And thank to you, see honey. You. I'm here to learn from you and to be in this amazing community of women. Um, and I'm just getting started, so I'm fine-tuning what exactly I am doing. But essentially, I'm helping women deal with overwhelm, mm. uh, looking at what I've been through and then mm -hmm. helping through that and also just to step into their highest purpose. Beautiful. Beautiful. All right. So I'm, gonna... I'm glad you all are here. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right. So expectations. Um, some of you have been with me before. Again, this is not a formulaic, you know, at 12, 15, we're going to be here. It's just, I flow with energy and y'all are, keep coming back. Apparently you like that. <laughs> so, so I'm setting the intention that the five P's are going to really ground you. Like some of you, like you heard Lisa and Janice specifically, they have dialed in their elevator. Like this is my person. This is what they start with. Boom, 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 boom but they might not have their promises process or personality aspect dialed in, right? So, so there's something for everybody. And so what I don't want you to kind of go, oh, I already have that, I already know that because we can always deepen it. Um, I'm kind of known as the inside out person, right? Like a lot of us create our businesses like, okay, create an avatar, what are their problems? What's your solution? How much do I charge? Cool and all. 
just got to go on inside of that with that, right? Because how many, how many of you, like we should all raise our hands, have had a mentor say, this is what you should sell. This is how you should say it. This is what will work. And you just go, okay, and I'm paying a bunch of money or they make a bunch of money. And it's like, bleh. right? So that's why I use the word soulfully aligned. Well, it might work perfectly for me. I could give it to Tina and it's like, gonna fall right so so it's an internal thing and I never I will never be I'm not a guru I'm not most people that say this is the formula this is how you have to do it my genius is helping you uncover it. you I love I had babies naturally right I use midwives girls and so for me it's like birthing together like I really love the model of it's in you and I'll help get it out of you I'm not doing it to you I'm assisting you in the creation can we get a whoop whoop for that <laughs> I also another one of my weirdnesses um is I think as women we are, we have been like can I speak now is it a, or do I have permission to speak and I hate that and so in my room, I'm totally fine if y'all are, nobody's muted because I, I don't want to have to people like, wait, hold on. I, I don't want to perpetuate that. I would rather people jump on over each other and go, hold on, Tina first, then Tammy, whatever. So this isn't a, you have to wait till the leader, leader gets you. Like, feel free, take yourself off mute unless there's background sounds or distractions. But I, I, I want this to be really interactive and co-creative. Can I get a yes to that? <laughs> I seriously, at this age, nobody's, I don't want to be, have to wait to be called on. Like nobody should be suppressed. We have been suppressed for way too long. And so I would rather some like, hold on, wait, because women have to have our voices to be free. Like we need to have our voices. We need to have permission. So you have full permission. I'll, also, I am recording this. So be aware, this is going to be, the replay is going to be sent out to the other people on the line that didn't show up today. So just know what you're saying. Um, I'm not going to be able to go back and go, Ooh, Tammy got a little vulnerable. If I better edit it, you know, we're not going to do that. So I'm trusting that you're your own agents. If you have some feelings or if you get confused, you're, you're, you're okay to do that. Right. It's a safe space. Yes. Got that. Okay. Um, and this is kind of a workshop again, it's not just a lecture. So there will be places where I say, okay, um, grab a journal, grab a pen, grab word, and let's just take some notes. So there'd be me teaching the content, me kind of talking about what's in the way or where you get broken down. I will ask your opinions on this. And then you'll be doing some of your own writing. Um, you're going to have time to say, can I get feedback on this? That's the workshop part of it. Yay. Right. Okay. Any questions before we get started? Are we excited? <laughs> okay. One of... I know Jenny through a woman named Senet and uh, Senet, they're, they're both in from South Africa and every call with Senet, we, we dance. Like she like turns music on or all. <laughs> so I won't make you dance. That's her thing. But um, I just want you to shake yourself for a minute. Woo! Just make some space, make some space. Okay, opening, very nice. Okay. The reason I'm saying these five pieces, now on one hand, an offer is a little slice of it. It's like, it's like one piece of it. But I decided to go macro because if you don't have these, your offer won't, it won't be like, it won't be consistent. It will be like, like, have you ever just thrown something against the wall? Well, try that. Maybe that'll sell. Maybe that'll sell. Oh, well, that's selling that for them. Like, right. So I want it a little bit more aligned. Okay. The first one is who are your people? Clearly, Lisa and Janice dialed it in today. So in the olden days, we had a thing called demographics. I work with business women, say, or I work with conscious healers. And we would do, you know, their ages are between 40 and 65. They read Oprah and they, they like gourmet food. Da, da, da. And that's great if you're a big advertising company or you're doing big scale marketing. You can buy lists and leads and all that kind of stuff. So I'm more into uh, creating something that's not just da da da, da right? Meaning... She's this, she feels that she wants it. Like, I want you to, we're going to, we're going to get it. So you feel it. I'm going to take you to a little visualization to your avatar. So, so the question is like, who is the person? Has anybody noticed that the person is an old version of them? <laughs> the person you are working with is the you before you got 
healed, healthy, restored, recovered before you knew what you knew. So, so I think that's kind of cool because most of us are like, I never want anybody to go through that. Like just what Jenny said, I'm using my stuff. Okay. So sometimes you already know your avatar. And so one thing is what would I have wanted? If there was a 40 year old version of me that was stuck or struggling, what would I have wanted? Okay. So what I want you to think about, like, I'll just read you on it. And I wrote this a while back. I was kind of focusing. I was, it's for a selling when I, when I teach selling. Okay. So, and at my, let me back up. If you want to think about the avatar and we're going to do problems next. So we have people and then problems. So we're not focusing on problems because that's going to, we're going to give a lot more time to that. Like, what do they think? What, what do they love? What do they desire? Right. And I'm going to give you some time to write. How do they talk? What are their values? So for me, and this is just, and I want you to come up with, if you can, this is how to do it the idea way. You want to come up with one person. You don't have, oh, I could work with it. And I, and I'm guilty because I have, I have kind of, you know, I have a couple different, different levels of people I work with, but one person. So this is, again, this is a little bit of an older version, but my name, her name is Amy. She's 42, divorced and mom of two kids. She's a life coach, great at what she does, but is only making about 65,000 a year. She's had coaching before and she's feel like she's had some pieces in place, but is frustrated because she knows in her bones, she's capable of so much more. She's open, spiritual, smart, funny. See, that's what we call the psychographics. That's the emotional part. That's the qualities of her that... I want to work with that work best with me. She's willing to do whatever she needs to break out of the rut. She knows her business is part of her soul's purpose and would love our work together. She's, she'll also receive my loving and challenging her and also buy multiple things I have. So see, I didn't just go, I just work with entrepreneurs. I didn't, I, so, so it's like, start here. Yeah, I work with women business owners. And then what? And then what? And then what? Just, just, does that make sense? Okay. Does anybody um, have any questions? Like, do we need to spend a lot of time here or do most of you have this? Cause this is the easy part. So it's kind of like, boom, this is my category. Yeah, Tammy, go. So one of the things that I've thought about a lot because I've, sh I've shifted my business is there's a lot of versions of me I could be talking to. <laughs> and so like what, to break that down a little bit and, and you don't have to necessarily answer that question. I'm just, that's what I'm playing with. Yeah, yeah. Um, well, there's a lot of different slices I could go. <laughs> right. So one of the things is affinity. Like, ooh, yeah, there's the 20 year old me, but who wants to work with 20 year old, right? Or maybe the affinity is like, ooh, I just love like more the 40, like the kids leaving home version of me. So where's where's the greatest affinity? And then where's the greatest accessibility? Like if you want to less thing accessibility yeah, okay. in terms of marketing, like if you want to work with professional athletes, do you, do you know of anybody? Do you have any, if you want to work with rock stars, I don't have Pink's phone number. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah. so you also want to like, okay, where does affinity and where, how accessible is my people? So be thinking about that. Okay. So I'll have your people, right? Mm -hmm. Now I will tell you, so this is where I get a little glitchy, right? I was like, I want to serve, you know, multiple six figure, seven figure people. And then I'm like, oh, but then I love the people that are newish on their way to six figures. And I was really conflicted about that for a long time. And I'm like, those are kind of on one hand, two very different people, right? But then on the other hand, they're not because of the qualities. Like if I just do the demographic, I work with, I work with seven figure businesses. Like, okay, well, boom, that's some people to say that. That's, 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 so Nobody else can join them because except for that. But I kind of had to come in my own head. The quality, maybe y'all aren't making this little six, six figures, but the qualities, the, you know, you have more, you know, in your bones, there's more. You're open, smart, funny, spiritual, willing to do what it takes. You know, your business is part of your soul. Perfect. I kind of said, oh, so it's not the numbers. It's the qualities. So on one, one hand, it's kind of, so sometimes I work with, you know, maybe somebody making 60,000 and then maybe multiples of six, six figures. So that's kind of how I resolve it in myself. Some people will say, I only start here, but so does anybody have any questions about that? Cause I think 
it it was very conflictual to me like so now i just speak to the to the soul i speak to the heart i speak to the you that knows that there's more that's it it makes it easier any questions about that you're following okay let's go into problems because that's the big one okay i'm over here so Lisa, why don't you say yours again? Cause you, you really nailed the problem statement really well. So you want me to say my- The problems, the problems your people oh. have. You're uh, overweight, overtired and overwhelmed. Okay, boom. I love the alliteration. Okay. So if somebody, if Lisa says you are a you know middle-aged person or whatever, whatever your first part was, am I overweight? Am I overwhelmed or overtired? I could identify that. Those are very tangible specifics. Now, in the problem world, now think about this. Most of the population is motivated by moving away from, away from being overweight, away from overwhelmed, away from overtired. And you know if you're that. How many of us, when she's like, shit, girl, <laughs> tell me more. That's what we want, right? And then there's some that are like, they want transformation. They don't want to be connected with the problem anymore. So they maybe they're further along. So I wouldn't say overweight, like that doesn't appeal to me any longer, right? But maybe you'd say, you know, are you ready to like reach your full potential? That's moving, that's moving up towards something like that. Does that make sense? And so everybody has some of those. So you have to discover. Does your person want to move away from something or are they mainly motivated by moving towards something? Do you have any questions about that? And it's not an either or. If you speak, like if you have a market that's more self-motivated and more kind of like more advanced and you tell them about all the pain that they're going to have and have to how to get away from that, you're going to lose them. Okay. But if you tell the people that really have a like, Oh, I have to solve God. I can't live another day. And you're like, you can be actualized. It's nirvana. They'll be like, you're not hearing me. So it really is a blend. And it really is. If you think about what are your people saying? I mean, this, like this, you know, Amy, hint, hint, Amy was me. Okay. Amy is me. This one, because I would say, um, she's frustrated because she knows in her bones, she's capable of so much more. That's literally my language. I used to call it the pain of untapped potential. So if you would say like, God, do you know you are absolutely here for more, but for some reason you haven't figured all out, right? So just take a minute, write down what are your people saying their words about their problems? So Lisa, you could, you know, overweight, overtired, whatever, overwhelmed. You could even go, maybe there's more. Maybe they don't use the word overtired. Maybe they just, I mean, like, what do they say? So just take a couple minutes. Like when they're talking to their friends or when they're laying their head down and they're like kind of ruminating, like, oh my God, please God help me with this or I can't handle this. What thoughts? Their language. We take about 30 more seconds. You can go right later. Okay. 
So I want to hear from a couple people. Just give me a couple sentences. What do they say their problems are? And again, take yourself off mute. Just jump in. Janet. So mine aren't sentences, mine are phrases. Okay. Um, and I realized earlier when you were first talking about it before this particular question that the people who call me, it's very practical mm -hmm. is what they're for. So they do all say that they're overwhelmed mm -hmm. uh, and a majority say that they're ashamed or embarrassed. Mm -hmm. um, beyond that, it is often things like things aren't getting done. Things are falling through the cracks. I don't yeah. know what to do. I don't know where to start. I can't deal with it. Beautiful. I don't know how to make it. Yeah. Those are the phrases that I hear. Yeah. You have a really good handle on this. Like you, you have just this nailed in really, really well. Anybody else want to share? I can share. Okay. Tammy, then Anna Barrett. Um, why can't I get over this? I'm burned out. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm scared it's going to happen again. I'm stuck. Mm. My brain is driving me crazy. <laughs> well, how that one. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, the more in their own language we get, the more in our marketing and our offers, it's super powerful. It's like, shit, she's been spying on me. How does she know? Right? Like, that's the thing you want. You're like, somebody like, gosh, she gets me. Okay, Anna Barrett, what's yours in a couple sentences? Lacking confidence about how to market themselves. Uh, don't know how to market themselves okay. and don't know what to focus on. Okay, perfect. I have so many directions I could do and I don't right. know what to do. Exactly, right, right, perfect. Okay, <laughs> so there's a couple of things I want you to think about. Um, there's the tangible and the intangible. Okay, so the tangible is like Janice, there's so many papers or there's like a tangible thing. Like, um, like when you think about problem statements, if tangible is, I don't know how to market or, you know, something like my brain is, well, that's a little intangible. Like it's like the tangible is real world. You can touch it. Like I can see that problem. The intangible is stuff like lacking confidence, lacking clarity, um, getting distracted, right? So that's the stuff that's a little more like a little amorphous. I'll give you an example. Like a lot of this comes from selling because I teach selling, which it's next month. I'm going to teach you my selling. Woo -hoo -woo. You want to go come next month. And so one of the things, if, if you make a promise, like um, I'll just use Tammy because I know Tammy. Okay. So Tammy, you could work with me and we're just going to make you a whole bunch of money. Because like, you know, everybody wants money, right? So you're going to come to business coach. We're going to grow you money. And so how does that land for somebody like Tammy? There should, there's some questions I have. <laughs> exactly. Because what I know about Tammy, she's also about impact, right? So the tangible is I'll bring, you'll bring another 5,000 in a month. That'd be like, okay. Uh, but if I could say, God, Tammy, think of the, think of the people that you could reach. Think of the, the like the, the good that you could do that would light her up more. So it's understanding. So we always usually start with a, this is a problem. They're not making enough money. They're overwhelmed. Okay. So I want you to, if, if, if we were doing worksheets, when I've taught this before, I literally would have you write 10 problem statements that are tangible and 10 that are intangible. And you want to include both. So when I think of offers, you also have to include marketing, right? you got to say, this is solving that. And you want to include some of both. Because you never know who, who who's reading it and what their motivation is. Is that making sense for you? So it's again helping you just deepen. All right. There's also a couple of things when I think of problem. There's top of mind. Oh, I need more money. I need to know how to market. That's top of mind. But we all know. Have you heard the expression? Sell them what they want, but give them what they need. Have you heard that expression? It's kind of a, a little bit of a marketing thing. So somebody comes in and says, "I want to learn. I want to make more money." Okay, let me just read this about, about Amy. Okay, so there's the top of my problem, then there's the just under the surface problem. Okay, so in my case, Amy's tangible problem is that she's not making enough money or doesn't know how to get the clients in the door. That seems tangible and top of mind, right? What's not seen is that Amy isn't owning her value. 
right? So it's the problem underneath the problem. Got that? She has money issues and mindset blocks. And if I say, you know, Tammy, I feel like you're not knowing your value. She'd be like, oh my God, yes, of course, duh. Okay, so you also want to include the next level down. Why are they not clear? Why are they overwhelmed? And it's such, because what you don't want to do, if, if let's say, you know, Amy doesn't know me, I don't want to say, well, Amy, the challenge is the epigenetics, really, it was your grandfather's mother's cousin, 17 generation back, they cause it. and she's looking at me like I'm a lunatic. You don't want to, like, we could know what causes it, especially some of us that are in the healing field or the energy stuff, we could have a sense of what's causing it, but you don't want to go, Bleh! and they're like, no, that's not my problem. So you want to only give them the top of my problem and the just under the surface, like the corollary. Does that make sense? Is this giving anybody any more clarity? Yes. Yeah. Okay. Um, anyway, so if you were to write down the next, let's take a, take a little 30 seconds in a minute and just see if there's anything else that's below the problems that you know, just from your expertise and having done it for all these years or, or living it. What is something there that if you said, oh, and maybe what about this? They'd go, oh, of course, of course. So taking another couple seconds and wrapping up. All right, so I want to hear, you have your people and yet now you know what their problems are. You would do the same. I'm not going to cover it today, but in my selling, we're going to go way, way, way deeper in this next month. Do you know what their desire is? Do you know what they would want? And the offer fills the gap, right? Coaching, it could be like, here you are, and here's how you, here's where you want to be. And this gap part, this middle is what your offer is going to handle. So let's say you come to me and you have, you don't, you don't, you're struggling to bring clients in the door or you want to, you want to reinvent. I'm almost reinvented thing. You want to reinvent yourself and you're a little bit lost, right? So the problem is the old isn't working and the new isn't yet set. And so then I would say, well, what do you want? How do you want it to look? How do you want it to feel? And then you would identify that 15 layers deep, right? You don't want to say, oh, you want to grow your business? Okay, that's $5,000, right? Oh, you want to lose weight? Okay, 3,000 bucks. What else do you want? And what else do you want? And you're going to learn this next month. But be thinking about, be thinking about what does the offer solve? So that, again, this is macro marketing. This is big stuff, but this particular offer, like when I did my, some of you were in my foundations class and it was a paid program. And what it solved was it cleared the blocks. It gave you, gave you the tools to create a business with a solid foundation. It was a specific thing. It wasn't designed to this and this and social media. Blah, blah, blah. It was just, there's one little slice, 30 days, boom. Right. So we want to think about so you have them and you have their pain. Now, what happens with offers very often is we try to kitchen sink the whole thing. And I know Janice, you, you, because Janice could help. Janice has like so many resources, right? Because there's so much to do, right? And so I know it's a challenge to say, well, we're going to start here, phase one. Because it's easy, especially, well, raise your hand if you've ever, ever, not on this call, I'm sure, but ever had any codependent tendencies. Anybody ever have any like overgiving, maybe proving or, but I could do this too. 
oh my God. Okay. Like I literally lo have lost sales because we're like, we'll just, and you know, then we can redo your website and then we can, we can, and they're like, like, it's way too much. Right. So when you create offers, some of, some people have what they call like a front door offer, like a little offer, maybe, maybe a 30 day offer or a, a three week off, just a little, little slice. Like if I was going to work with you for three weeks or 30 days, I can't promise the same thing that I can promise in a six month mastermind. And so in terms of an offer, when you think of the people and their problem, if I take all the problems, I'm screwed in 30 days, right? If I could say that all those problems, oh, that's a year long container, but we could do, I could help you with your messaging. That's two months. Boom. By the end of two months, you will have clear messaging. Boom. Do you see that? So when you make the offer related to a problem, it has to be, because I have made the mistake yeah, being the good little caretaking, like, come on, I'll help you. Of course, I can do anything, of course. Right, I'm a big possibility. I, we can make it all work. And then I try to cram it in this little thing. Blah, do not. Like with Lisa, it was really clear. I, and I'm like, I love that. And we might not get to leave Magnus today, right? Because the, I have to, because you know, the old me would have been like, oh, Okay, what can I do a lead magnet? You know what I mean? And and that would be dishonoring. It's like I awesome. Maybe that's another class someday, right? And so you can't get swept into, you have to stay in the scope. Does anybody have trouble with boundaries around this? Anybody overgivers in the room? Because I'm talking about this. This isn't this isn't this isn't even the note. So it's coming because it's supposed to come. So all right, so talk about why. Whoa. We have problems with the boundaries and the container of this is what you'll get in this program and that's it and we want to share about that because that can bite you and we want to share for me it's sometimes the person that's in front of me i can see what they need yes. and it might go beyond that little slice right so you pull that part in right just that part, you know so i can see that that can be just responding to what's needed in the moment. That's the challenge, right? Like when we have the skills, we're like, ah, I can help you so much. Mm -hmm. The way I frame it, okay, I'm going to give you a sense of a buffet, right? Mm -hmm. So some people go to a buffet and they're just starting with a little jello cup and they may get, maybe get a couple shrimps. Some are like bruising, the prime, oh, like, like, and shocking. This is this, this one was like, like not everybody wants a whole freaking buffet. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I used to say, shockingly, not everybody wanted to roll around with me all the time. I was like, what? And maybe they either, they can, sometimes it's capacity, you know, like, like Janice, like, she's like, I can't have any more coaching right now. I got some personal stuff. And that's really good knowing. Mm -hmm. It's really seductive and go, okay, maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to know. So sometimes it's just a capacity thing. Like, this is all I can do. I can't rewrite my whole website and redo my whole programs and reinvent blah, 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 blah. I can just, or not, maybe I'm not even in the thing of doing anything. So some of it is they don't have the capacity. Some of it is they're not ready. Have you ever like, shit, I'm still at this level, but there's a payoff. Weird, weird that I'm still here. Huh? Sometimes we have to grow. We have to really, like, sometimes it's just, so not everybody needs the fire hose. <laughs> I was shocking because I'm a fire hose girl. So just FYI. So is anybody having clarity about the size and the scope of your offers? Because it's very easy to get, we'll work together for six months and we'll do all the things. And then nobody knows what the hell they're buying. So anybody have thoughts around this one? Because this is saving, this is mistakes I've made. And I want to save you from that. I would rather have you ten, have four little tiny offers then, or, you know, do the like little front door thing. And then they go up to the next one and the next one, instead of like, we want to share about that. Yeah. I just got an idea of how I could do that in a 30 day. Um, so playing with kind of based on your foundations and how you did that, like what would be a really tiny way to help people get yes. more resourced? Yes. Perfect. Perfect. So you want to make the offer something that not like, oh, shit, I got to sell that to get him in the door. Uh-uh. Eh, 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 eh. <laughs> You're not getting out of this house if you do that, woman. <laughs> it has to be like, that would be cool. I could teach it or I could offer it. It would, and it's standalone, right? Sometimes you have predatory marketers that like, 
they do webinars like, well, I've got five points, but I'm only going to share two on the call. And if you sign up, they like, don't ever do that. That's bad behavior, right? So the standalone, like my little foundations, I could go, that was actually a really good little program for three, four weeks. It was good. Right? It was enough. You could walk away. You had stuff. Good. Not like, ah, shit, we're in the middle of the book. Sorry, buy something else, right? So you want to think about the scope. So like, could you, some of you work with overwhelm, could you do a 30-day overwhelm blaster? Probably, maybe, you know what I mean? That would be kind of like an offer that's like 30 days to boom, 90 days to boom. So when you think of offers, so Nanny, if anybody need help with this, any thoughts on this? Any, any success with it. Maybe somebody that's been doing it a little bit longer, maybe you have like, oh yeah, this is what I'm doing. It's awesome. Anybody want to share? I'm sorry if I understood, understood everything, Therese, um, because of the language. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, uh, I had a client request today and it was a young man actually. And he was like, um, he has been like in politics and he has kind of creative side and financial education. So he wanted me to help him to merge everything of this together. And I'm thinking what you are sharing now, can that, can that be done in 30 days? I mean, yeah. Um, um, broad stroke, you could, you could give him a strategy. But yeah, strategy and integ integration, messaging, positioning, you know, I mean, he would, he, he would wanted to like a basic level. He would have, have an outline of it, maybe, you know? Yeah. So. so you would think that one month would, or 30 days would be sufficient. He wants to, to know how to brand himself on LinkedIn because he wants to mm -hmm. combine everything he's learned, he's had in yeah. his background. You know, I would, do you, do you use pendulums? Do you use pendulums, darling? Just ask. So okay. just, you know, I literally, when I do my programs, it's like it's 30 days, 60 days. And I know, you know what I mean? That's how I get the answer. Okay. Good idea. Thank you. Yeah, so that, that, yeah. way, that, that way you're tapping into his energy and the work you could do together and not just an arbitrary thing. So, yeah, because I have a tendency, like, like you talked about thinking that you need four months or six months to get the best results. And for some things you do, right? Some things, like, here's the thing. If you just are looking to get LinkedIn messaging a little bit better, and it's like, with if you all come to me for messaging, we're gonna go really deep on your inner work, right? We're gonna do all the clearing, but a lot of people don't do that. They're like, what sells? Okay, you know, they, if they just do it from the brain, from the just, yeah, that works, I'm known for that, da, da, da. And it's just a different way of approaching it, how most people do it, you know? It's kind of like, yeah. write it out so it, de it depends the depth you know yeah if you're just doing a brand a linkedin thing and not trying to get transformation you can do it yeah i think so well right. thanks okay the next one so we have the people their problems also you want to know their desires it's the same way what's what do they want i want more money that's tangible what's the intangible so i can have freedom Freedom for what? Well, I really want to travel. Where do you want to go? Like, again, you'll, I'll talk more about that in the selling part. But when you position your offers, you want to include the problem and the desire. You want to include the challenge and the solution. You've dealt with this and this is going to give you that. Okay. So the reason you're doing this introductory work of all like layers, because if you come to me, I guarantee you, oh, you'll be shocked at how I know you. I could say, yeah, you probably feel this. And I bet you dealt with that, right? And I'm pretty sure, and you'd be like, Jesus, are you psychic? Well, a little, but I just know from all the work I've done, I know the problems. I know what it, I can language it. I can speak about the pain of that untapped desire and feel like a freaking fraud because you keep launching. I can talk like that. Now, I don't want to beat you in the head with marketing materials like that though. Right. So you put enough of the pain, but then you go, but here, imagine if you had this, ooh, 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 right. And it must be within your scope. Never say you're going to get somebody an extra hundred grand. If you can't get somebody like, don't lie. And I know no, none of you would ever do that. We would in fact undervalue ourselves, but okay. So there's a scope of that. The next one, are you ready? And this is going to be fun. We're going to do this. What's your promise? What's your promise? 
So as we're talking about Amy, my promise is you can make money doing what you love, do it in a very authentically self-expressed way, and you can be transformed in the process. That's my promise. That's my like, this is what I know you can do. Like, this is my stand. This is my, and it's, it could be for each offer, but it, to me, it's kind of a global boom. So you start with the global. What, what do you know that you know that you know that you know? So Dorothy, can you, can you answer that for the, your, uh, your fertility people? What's your promise? And I know I just threw you in here. Uh, um, I know that when we take better care of ourselves, that we can enhance our fertility and we don't really know how to take better care of ourselves a lot of the time. Okay. So the, the promise is I will show you how to, or when you work with me, your body will be in better, blah, 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 because I know when we take better care of ourselves, we can enhance your fertility. So it's just like a commitment. It's like a declaration. Is that, do y'all understand what that is? Lisa, you got this one? You look a little, yes? Well, I guess I'm confused. How is that different than the solution part of the positioning? It's similar, but it's, 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 this is a global, the thing that you make a stand. So a solution, like if you come to me, I will have a solution, obviously, which will be my program, like that kind of stuff. This is, again, this is the macro. This is the marketing five steps kind of like to, that you need to weave in. So what do you know that you know that you know that you know? And then you can pull it down to solution language. So it's, it's a bigger, it's a kind of overarching thing. Does that make sense? It doesn't make sense. <laughs> Okay, raise your hand if you know unequivocally the power of the work, the solution that you offer, like the work, like raise your hand if you're like, oh yeah, I know, I know. Okay, so some of you already know. So that's probably at least because you've already been doing it for so long. It's, it's, already, it's already natural. But for some people that are newer in the business, they might not know, like, what am I able to promise? So it's similar, but it's maybe different. Because if I'm working with you on messaging, that might be a little different solution, but the overarching promise is kind of the umbrella of what I stand on. What do I believe to be true? What do I know? What's my promise? Anybody else get this or don't get this? What are you thinking about this? Yeah, Tina. Yeah, I guess I'm confused as for me. I'm, I understand the concepts, but like, I, unlike most of you, I don't think I'll be working one-on-one -on -one with people or coaching people. Like, I don't see myself as doing that. I see myself as more like content producer and like some of the stuff is like very, just like high level spiritual, like mm -hmm. or not to meditate or, so I don't think that if there's necessarily like a very specific target market, because there's, you know, anybody can benefit from meditation or should I have like those, so that's one have. question, like, yeah, can I, you no, know, you should. because especially if I'm not like necessarily selling any certain, like I might produce like online courses that are just you know um asynchronous online no, but not necessarily working with people so you know what are those promises and what are those you know target markets and all that stuff. right so the target market for you darling is because you can't market to everybody right you have to narrow yeah. you have to be like are you working with with are women are you working with business owners are you working with you know people with trauma like you have just for the marketing now everybody can benefit from it but you will have hell trying to market if if everybody's your audience. Mm, ooh, got ooh, it. Ooh. Yeah. Yes. Go. Go. <laughs> you know, I've been where you are. Did I pronounce her name correctly? Yeah. Um, Tina. Okay. Um, I have been where you are for years. I fought this, and finally, finally, two different people helped me to understand. Because I was always like, I want to work with lots of different people because I don't want to get bored and it can benefit everybody and all that kind of stuff. And finally, people started, I started to hear actually people saying, if you market to a very specific group, it helps your marketing because you're addressing it to one group. It does not necessarily discount anybody else from working with you, nor does it in any way hamper you from you know being in say a, a person in-person networking and adjusting what you say a little bit but perfect I'll, I'll leave it there cool. thank you that's helpful yeah. well it's like if you're a chiropractor you could say I work with everybody with a spine okay are you working with homeless people then they have spines right so you want to go who is my work best again affinity who 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 
who would love my vibe? Who would I love to contribute to? Do I have a special, like, God, I love to work with veterans. I just, you know, I mean, like, I love what Lisa and Janice have. They're very targeted. So when they did their elevator speech, like, it was like, I get that. Oh my God, I know somebody or I am that person, right? And again, I know you're not trying to go one-on-one. So target, target, target. And you still have a promise with meditation. You do, even though, and it's more like, so what, what, are, so it could just be when you meditate, your life improves. When you meditate, your nervous system gets settled down and you will be healthier and happier. Boom. That's a promise. That's what I just want you to stand on that ground so you can own your value and have confidence to make your offers. Does that make sense? Yeah, it makes sense. Yeah, that's helpful. Thank you. That's a great question. Okay. So we all got the promise. So this would be something you want to write down because you know, sometimes it's hard. Let's, let's just say not all offers work. Sometimes the money's like, where you go? Or you're changing and you want to do something different. Stand on your promise. Because that, that doesn't, I mean, it might evolve a little bit. But if that's your truth, if you're just in it to do the promise, if you're like, I'm here to, this is what I want for you. And you lead with that. You talk about that. This is possible. It's possible. It's possible. You can have this. It doesn't have to be this way. This is what I know to be true. You distinguish yourself. People are like, God, I love what she's talking about. I've literally had people, it's like, I don't care what you're, what you're selling or teaching. I'm just going to join. Right. So some of you are on the call. have done that. Right. So, so it's just, it's kind of just your stand. You're just like, boom, I'm just, this is my claim. The stake in the stick in the ground. So Lisa, what do you believe to know about the initial group you talked about? Like, what do you know that's possible that they might not see themselves? That's bigger than a solution. Um, yeah. So this is what I wrote down. So the position, the challenge is unwanted, unhealthy habits that are robbing them of their energy, their health, their, uh, <clears throat> their, you know, capabilities, happiness. Um, the solution is using brain-based pre, uh, reprogramming techniques to change those habits. <clears throat> the bigger promise and what I know is possible is that they can make those changes quickly sustainably and make them as automatic as the unhealthy ones once were. Just add this, so that they can make them quickly and sustainably so that, or, and they will get, or what's possible. Tell, just finish that because you're halfway there. Once they make the changes, then what do they get? They have more energy. They have more confidence. They have more uh, <clears throat> A healthier lifestyle that makes them happier boom so that's a promise right so the promise could be something like you don't you're you're more than your body you're more than your bad habits this is this is rough language i'm not this is, but but that's what you're saying you're stuck here but there's a here like this is so possible so my promise is you can shift this stuff really quickly and integrate it so you have the healthy happy life that you've always desired See, that's different than the solution of the brain base. That's the how, but but I want your I want you to speak that like because I I love brain based stuff. That's like ooh, 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 tell me more. But a lot of people that are not in our world, they're like, eh, I don't know what that means. But they know they crave a life they desire. So that that's the that's the difference. I hope does that land a little bit better for you now? Well, I mean, in my statement, I have the so that. Okay, perfect. Perfect. I, I didn't remember the so first that time. they have the habits, energy, and confidence to rock their personal and professional lives. Perfect. Okay. So there you go. That's your that's your promise. That's your promise. Okay. You will have boom, boom, boom to rock. So thank you. All right. The next one. This this get this breaks down just a wee smidge. This is where it gets a little harder. I think Lisa has hers already nailed in, but the next P is the path. How do you do it? How do you do it? And I will tell you, this is a, can be a little bit challenging and you can't tell me 90 days of private coaching or even hypnosis or like, like we, we can't say that, but like we use our tools, we use our time containers. We use, well, I'll just sh share my story with them. This is where this takes a little work to like, what is your path? How do you do this? is kind of the process piece. Like, how do you do this? Right? So, so if somebody comes to me, Let's say Meryl comes to me and says, okay, I really want to grow my business. 
I don't go, okay, well, work with me for four months, done. Like that's sucky marketing. <laughs> I need to tell her a little bit how, no, you wouldn't fly. Okay, damn it, I got to work on my copy. Um, I need to have a little bit more of an ability. Now, I will share years ago, because I don't, back up. Janice is working in a very concrete, okay, um, she's the overwhelm slayer. So if you have excess papers, if you have that, she, it's literally, it's very tangible. It's, it's, that's, that's, I think a little easier to sell because people understand clutter. They understand you have too many papers on your, how to clear it. Like that's, and we all understand what organizers do. We understand clutter. Like, so she's in a, in a place where people have a sense of that, but when you're working brain technologies, Theta healing, Akashic record, you know, like, people are like, what? Like when your solution is something that's not easily understood by the marketplace. Now we all, like most of us do, but just FYI, even if you say, I'm going to give you 12 Theta healing sessions. Now, if I'm specifically looking for Theta healing and I understand what it is and I'm like, I'm looking for Theta healing. Yes. But for most people, it's like, so Sometimes I feel like if, if the work is a little more energetic or esoteric, or it's not like um, linear necessarily, sometimes it's like this, right? So years ago, I was like, oh, I can't do this. I can't figure out what the hell I'm saying. And one of my colleagues was like, I am going to coach this process out of you, damn it, woman, because you have one, right? And so, so we came up with an acronym. <clears throat> and I, <clears throat> excuse me, I, I'm, see, I'm choking on it. It's old. <laughs> That's funny. I'm like, well, that's interesting. I don't use it today, clearly, because I can't even speak it. Okay, so so it came up. So sometimes it's like, sometimes you have to do this piece of work. This is called discrete. Like this building block has to happen. And then this building block has to happen. And then this building block, like Janice, I'm sure you have stuff like this. And you're like, you're not jumping in over here if you don't have this handled yet. Right. My right. three are map, design, implement. That's my three. Right. And I call it phased because yeah. it's not necessarily linear yeah um so i yeah. i make sure to, to put that, that chunk she's got that she spent years working on that it's really really tight but some of us some people start here and then the session's over here and then we go back like it's it's not it doesn't just go in a cons consequent or consecutive order right so i came up with okay what do i do so initially it was bold build build like build your strategy then you own it you own your value then you leverage yourself and then you design right so I don't use any of this today because I've completely evolved but that gave me something to put my hands around I could go welcome to my bold process and another one I did was um what was it dig excavate renovate First, we go in and we dig out whatever's blocking you. We dig it out and then we move it out and then we renovate. So so, so I kind of have words that sort of say, this is the process. And in the digging phase, we're going to be looking for your faulty beliefs. Da, 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 da. And the, so, so again, there are, there are ways to talk about your work. So think about when people come in. Now, if somebody's, let's say hypnosis, if somebody wants smoking cessation, that's pretty clear. Boom, 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 boom right? Or like Dorothy's an acupuncturist. If I just come in, I've got some shoulder pain. It's not the same as I'm looking for a transformation or I'm looking for a huge uh, reinvention. So again, depending on the scope of your offer or what, what little part you're serving, it's, th does this make sense to you? So how do you create your process? So the first one is where are people where, when they need you, like where are they starting? So if you think about that, sometimes like if I were say, like some of you are newer in business, so you don't have the thing set. If I'm saying, okay, guys, we're gonna just upgrade and we're gonna do 2.0, I would leave a couple of the women out of this room because maybe they, they might not have the foundation. Jenny's like, I'm just starting, right? So I, I taught, uh, I was working with a client and she was teaching marketing. She was, she was a marketing coach. And unfortunately, she made the mistake. Mistake. She didn't run any of her program by me. She's like, okay, I'm launching a 12-week program. I'm like, okay, she's a marketer. She knows how to launch. And I'm like, why didn't she ever ask me about that? And she discovered midway, I think she was doing like marketing for introverts or something, right? And, and she's midway, she's like, it was driving her crazy because all these people were going, 
well, how do I build a website? And she's like, they don't have a website. <laughs> so all she's trying, she's in the middle trying to start from here to go there. And they're all like, yeah, but yeah, but. And so the lesson is, what do people need on the process? Like some people, like if this is a starting line, some people are here and you can just go. So Anna Barrett, if you want to work with somebody with messaging, do they have enough in place to be messaged? If you're working with somebody that's brand new, it's a, see what I mean? So where are they and where do you start with them? So what's the first thing? So often in a process, like, like think about for you, what happened? What happened? Did you have a moment of like, I can't take it anymore? You know, what was your transformation? What was the thing that made you raise your hand and go, ah, oh, I gotta do something else. And maybe that's where you start. Or maybe your process starts where, no, you've already done that. You've been doing the work uh, for five years. You're already pretty masterful. So we're gonna start here. Is this making sense to you? So ask me some questions because I could I could go further, but I just wanna, I just wanna see what you have. Um, mine, I have thought like ideas, skills, and then your dream. I know that's very simplistic. Mm -hmm. I want to start with their idea for their business and we can work through skills, mindset, and work on their trauma or, you know, chronic illnesses, how to deal with that. Then they would learn those skills and then they could ha kind of have their dream business mm -hmm. that they mm -hmm. wanted. Okay. Is Kind of that feels really, about. no, that's good. And I like Janet because I know you're new. This is new for you. Um, yeah. that might, that's a lot. That's a it's lot. A lot. Okay. That's a year or six months. Right. So it could be like phase one. Well, so first of all, um, you know, the first place we always start is what do you want? So you're using the word idea. So that could yeah. be, maybe that's, maybe that's one week or maybe two hours, you know, maybe, maybe if you have somebody that knows, cool. Okay then what do you need? So then you kind of have to map that out. Like, what does that look like? What's the strategy? How are we going to get that yeah. right? to design that? And so then the skills that would fall in there. Okay. This, what skills do you need? Well, are you teaching the skills? Do they have the skills? Like that's the kind of like, see I mean, That's where it gets a little bit. I would teach them the skills because they're coming in as a new business person Perfect. or they're transferring careers and they have an idea, but they don't know they're right. going to be independent travel, you know, right. what reason they have, they would um, learn the skills. Okay. So yeah. I have a question, a clarification yeah. question, Tana. Are you talking about basic business, how to run a business kind of skills or skills specifically for whatever business they want to have? Because those are two different things. Not, I mean, they overlap, but they're yeah, two different yeah. things. Um, I'm going to focus on the online because that's what I like and what I'm comfortable with. All right. So it's, you know, like going, learning about social media and which is going to work for you, doing your brand. It would start with brand and then social media, and then it would end with a website, a basic I, website, right. pay, learn, you know, so I, kind of outcome of that. No, that's good. So that, that could, that's like, that could be an X amount of months program. But then you say yeah. that work for them on their trauma. <laughs> That's okay. All right. Um, now, what might happen is the trauma might interfere. Hi, darling. Thank you for being here, honey. Um, the trauma might interfere. So you might mm -hmm. have to slow down because somebody that has trauma might not be able to learn the skills as well. Right. Mm -hmm. So um, so you also factor that in. So you would do a really thorough assessment. So in the beginning, what I always do is just basically like, um, I do a deep dive, like, a, like I would have a really intense questionnaire, mm -hmm. their strengths, their weaknesses, what they desire, what's going to block them. And then you can assess because, because one person might run through that in four months. The other person, they might be breaking down, you know, trauma could be like, I, I, they got paralyzed and they, they fall into doubt and they, they're too stupid to figure it out. Blah, 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 right. So that, so maybe you could customize that. So, so I like how you're going. We do here, like you have kind of a sequential thing. That's awesome. But, but you see what you just said, oh, I'm working their trauma. Whoa. <laughs> yeah, individual coaching, one-on-one -on -one coaching during the work. 
that we're doing. And then um, I was thinking for collaboration and stuff, I would do like an implementation week where I bring everybody together to Love work. It. And then the one in one would be the trauma work and mindset. Good. Good. And Jen, this is brand new for business. So, so did you hear how she has an idea of like, if you, if I would say, so Janet, if I'm content, potentially considering working with you, what's your process? She has something that's, you know, maybe clunky. It can be refined just a smidge, but she, she thought this through. Nobody just is saying, well, just work with me for six months. And we'll figure. Sometimes I do. I'm like, well, follow the energy and my intuition. You know, I'm just teasing. Y'all know me, but let, thank you for that. Anybody else have questions? Because sometimes it's like, internet. how do I do this? Yeah. Oops, somebody's talking. Sorry. Okay. Are you guys frozen? Am I frozen? I'm frozen. Oh. Hello. Am I frozen? Yeah, I, oh, I think it's Teresa's. No, Teresa's. Okay. Okay. Hello. <laughs> like, oh, Hello. No, That's so weird. So weird. Okay. Okay. I'll hang out until it comes back. You all can't hear me. Sorry. Oh, no. My gosh, thank y'all for hanging out. That was weird. Okay, you're still here? Yes. Thank you for saying. I was trying to, it wouldn't come back. It would just stopped. Okay, I'm put my car. All right. So what's different about your process? Because in the olden days, all we did was we were taught marketing copy. You just talk about the results. You never talk about your process. But how do I differentiate? If I've got three healers in the room, y'all do sort of the same thing. Like you're going to get me this goal in the end, this result. So what's different? It's a process that differentiates. So does anybody have, this is where I'd like to like workshop. Cause again, I, I found this very hard for me and, and it, I know for most people it's like, ah, how do I talk about it? And so anybody want a question here? You want some feedback? You want something we can chew on a little bit? Um, I have a talk about discovering your value. Is that too uh, uh, intangible? That's okay. Okay. Um, because I would start with uh, defining their strengths okay. and values and motivations, then their whys, okay. their passions, uh, and uh, what drives people. That would be part of my... Um, at least start of the kind of personal branding stuff. Mm. So, and um, I have made a set uh, program from that, but I don't remember no, that okay. now. <laughs> well, let's ask, let's ask the room. So did that, what? Feel, like, did that feel, I'm just going to ask everybody else. Did it feel like if she said, okay, we're going to work on owning your value. We're going to do this, this, this. Did you kind of go, oh, okay. Yeah, I get that. That makes sense. You didn't say we're going to work together for 30 days and it'll be $2,000, right? Okay. I want I want for you to be able to have a sense. And again, Tina, it might for you, you're not working one-on-one, -on -one, so it might it doesn't quite extrapolate, but FYI. Um, any other questions? So usually there is a, you're going to have some form of an intake. You're going to do some assessment and you're going to look for certain things and you're going to look for the dreams, the desires, the goals, and then you're going to flush out and what's in the way. What are the blocks? Why are they not having it now? What have they tried? And then from there, you would likely create a plan, right? Here's what, here's what's okay. You need this. You might not need this part of it, but you're going to need this, 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 this. Okay. So then you're going to go about basically doing it using whatever technology you do, whatever tools, whatever techniques, you're then going to do the plan. But what's going to happen along the way they're going to bump into their shit. <laughs> How do you handle the breakdowns? And so you can say, you know, so we're going to, I'm going to be with you. I'm going to guide you when you get stuck. Um, I'm going to be with you. We're going to, I have lots of tools to help you because, because lots of, here's what happens. How many of us have been given formulas and strategies and we can't do it on our own. They're going to hit walls. Right. And so if you build in we're going to do it. And then we're going to, we're going to come back and see why you're not doing it. We're going to, I'm going to be with you. So you can over, you're going to get past where you've been before, because now I'm the new variable. You're going to have me. You're not going to give up on yourself. You're not going to fail. You're not going to that, 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 that. And then you get the goal. And then maybe we were going to go, 
let's let's go higher. You right? Like it's like so it's kind of it's like song going. So Meryl, what's your process, darling? Do you have something? Do you want to share anything? You're laughing. So funny. I was gonna say, I was gonna let me go next. I do have a process and I've used it. And I'm like, I wonder if I could just share it and see what you think. Yes, I, that's why I called on you because you were calling yeah. me, calling you, girl. <laughs> okay, so I've created what I call the emotional clearing method. And it's, it's five steps. And um, I teach it in two hour group programs and I teach it in six month programs that are private. It's like yes. what I use pretty much. So if someone asked me, well, okay, I see that you give me sessions and da, 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 whatever, but how, right? So I said, well, I'm going to take you through my emotional clearing method. It's uncovering where you're at and creating a goal. It's mm -hmm. removing whatever is keeping you from your goal. It's healing whatever needs to be healed from your past that's keeping you from your goal. It's rewiring your nervous system, your thoughts, your patterns, um, you know, um, emotions, behaviors, things like that. And then it's anchoring in to what you do want. So little law of attraction, um, anchoring into the emotion, to the energy, to the feelings of what you do want. So I don't necessarily in a workshop, mm -hmm. like a two hour workshop, or even a, I mean, I've done it as an eight hour, like weekend program at a retreat center. It is very structured. We right. go through process one, yeah. we right? right. But when it's one person, yeah, it's not like that. It's kind of right. You, like you were saying before, you kind of mix it all up and kind of yeah, you know, exactly. give it to them, you know, however they really need it. Yeah. So that's what I do. That's, what what did y'all think when you heard her, the name of it, super clear. And then the five steps and they're not discreet. Like, like you said, like somebody might just need to start at step three and then we'll circle by. So it's not like you have to do one before you get to the other. Um, and so, so most people, most of our work isn't like that. It's not like you have to have this foundation in place before, you know, it's not like architecture where like, oh, if I don't like the floors, I can't do the ceiling. Right. And cause most people, I find people are fluid. So you'll be on track and like, oops, we got to go back to one. We got to revisit one. And what, what she's got that's so great is expense. It's like an accordion. I can do it in two hours. I can do it in six hours. I can do it in four months. I can do it. In, like when you have something like that, because you're not only doing those things, each thing deepens to other stuff, right? Mm -hmm. So that's brilliant. Perfect. <laughs> Did you learn something there? A good one. And it's taken a long time to get that. Yeah, it does. It takes a long time. How long have you been in, in the field or working on this stuff? I mean, really since the very, very beginning, I'll say seven years, yeah. but like certified in what I do and really building a business, I'll say like three and a half more, okay. maybe, you know, in my fourth yeah. year. So. Great. So it's, it's not, it's, it's hard in the beginning when you haven't had enough experience or clients. So those of you who are newer, use yourself as the model. I know Janet and Jenny, you said you're kind of using your stories and, you know, like what, where was I? Either if I got help, what happened? Or if I would have gotten help, what would I have needed? Right. So um, that's how you would lay it out. Anybody else have anything about the process? And it doesn't have to be perfect. It's fine. If you say, I'm going to give you coaching for 30 days or 60 days, it's fine. It's just the more, like, you remember years ago when you'd be like, like 90 day home makeover, like, like there's an arc. So you have to think about, think about like the, oh, oh look at the husky. I'm sorry. I just see, oh, oh. I'm sorry. There was a dog in the room. I'm like a squirrel and I've not seen the cat today, Janet. So <laughs> Janice, where is the cat? We need the cat. So um, I'm a little weirdo with animals. So, okay. So you want an arc. You don't want, okay, we'll just keep working. That's like, eventually some of you have worked with me for long-term and you just keep coming back and it's fine because there's a re relationship established. Oh, I wanted, I got to do more work. Come back. I didn't need to sell on here's the nine days. Here's where we're starting. Here's where we're ending. But in the beginning, you've got to have an arc. You're here. You want to go here. Here's the how right? And play with it, play with the naming of it. You know, you could just go to chat GPT, right? I don't know how you got your great name, Meryl, but you go to chat GPT. Here's my program. Here's who it's for. 
um, I kind of do this, this is a, give me ideas for, for, for phases or stages or names of it. Play, chat GPT is fun. Okay, you got that, everybody good? Okay, the next one da -da -da, is your personality. A lot of people don't factor this in. I think it's the most important thing. Okay, so what are you known for? What are you known for? What's your vibe? Because there's a lot of other people that would say the exact same words Merle was using. Maybe not the exact same words, but there's a lot of people in, in, that, that have kind of the same dynamic, right? And so the thing is, here's my question for you. If there were a hundred of your competitors and you in a room, why would somebody pick you? And it's not what you think. It's not, well, I have this certification or, you know, I give discounts or, you know, I, I'm really nice or I love people. It's the funny, quirky, the cool, you know, Janice is her target market. Janice has, has, has had a lot of surgeries. Janice has been there, right? So why I would hire Janice is like, holy shit, this woman knows it. So for her, it's, Part of the personality is the overcoming, the being on the journey, the like, I have, I had to figure this out for myself, right? I mean, you could say, now I know you have more certifications. You could say, I have this certification, this light, blah, 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 blah. but anybody can have that. Not anybody. I'm not diminishing. To me, there's more credibility that you have walked the path. You have been where your clients or their clients' families are. So you want to, and she does, she tells the stories, right? So you want to think about like, what are your values? What are your quirks? What have you overcome? Because um, sometimes it's like, I don't know if you guys know that his name is Adam Urbanski. He's like a seven figure business mentor guy. He's from Poland. And so he would use that. He literally came to the country with like $120 in his pocket. He's got a great story, great story. And so he would go, ah, I'm a dumb Polak. What do I know? Those are his words, right? I don't, I'm not using that. But he would play the Polish card. He would play the immigrant card. He would play, and he played that up. And so it became like, damn, that's remarkable. And he's very much a family man. So he always would trot out his two gorgeous daughters. And so you had a feel for Adam and his values and who he was and where he came from, right? So I want you to think about like, if you ask your closest friends or family, like if I ask some of some of the clients that, that know me more on this call, like, okay, give me words, describe me. Like, like what do I have that, that I may be overlooking, right? Ask your friends, ask your family, ask your clients. Like what, if somebody, if somebody was drawn to you, what would they, like, oh, who can I ask? I'll ask, I'll ask Meryl. Why should somebody, you got the New Jersey thing, get the great hair. Love the hair. But beside that, what parts of your personality are you throwing in? I actually called a new place for a haircut today, but I didn't. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Um, so people tell me that I have like one foot planted really like grounded. And then I have one foot planted in like spiritual woo-woo. Right. Mm. And I bring a like confidence, power, and peace, mm -hmm. like all together. I'm, um, I mean, this might sound like everybody might say this, but, um, I, you know, I'm told that I create like a very non-judgmental, um, mm -hmm. you know, safe right. space for people. Right. So that, you know, like calm, calm and power. Like I I've heard that my whole life. Okay. Okay. So, <clears throat> so there's the, in marketing, there's the, I should hope so. So if I go to an accountant and their claim to fame is I'm reliable and accurate, like, Ooh, I should hope so. And so safe space, kind of, I should hope so. I'm looking right. for more. I, I love the blend. I'm grounded and I'm woo. And I, I, I integrate both of those. Like that's kind of cool. I've worked with people um, that were engineers and now they're spiritual teachers or are you know, like, ooh, I can engineer your you know, spiritual transformation. Like you were an engineer. Now you're talking to dead people. What? Like I find those, those kind of things like fascinating, right? So are there things in your personality? I love immigrant stories. When you live in a different country, when you have overcome stuff, um, 
then he's from freaking South Africa and they lose electricity half the time. Like half the time, there's no power. I'm sorry. I just find that fascinating. Like no, that might not be her personality specifically, but fun facts, things that are a little unique, like things like, you did what? You came from what? You did like what? So you want to kind of think about either your personality or things about you that are gonna like, whoa, not everybody has that. Like there's one, I was working with a guy in some inner marketing stuff, as I call it. And he was teaching marketing to market, teaching marketing to small business owners. And he's like, I'm like, okay, Eli, tell me, like, tell me some fun things in your fast past. Like somebody, what would somebody say? Like, oh, that is cool. That is cool. So you should all have a what's cool list. Right. And he's like, I don't know. I, I was, a uh, a roadie, I got, you know, I set up stages for like Ozzy Osbourne and Megadeth and Lola. And I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> what? I'm, so I'm like, I think about, think about the, the branding of that. I'm like, if you could literally say, if I could, you know, set the stage and help make Alice Cooper a star, I could do it for you. And then you have a party, pictures of you hanging with a star. Like that is memorable. He never used it. And I think he made a mistake that he should have used that, right? Another friend of mine was a marketing guy and he um, skydived. Is that the right term? Skydived. He was a crazy person. You, Jenny, you do that? Oh, oh sweet God. So I was kind of, I called it Tom on your back. That's right. So imagine having Jenny on your back because as we know, with skydiving, you don't follow the air. You, you go down with a guide, right? You have somebody on your back doing the work, making you safe. And I'm like, well, why don't you just sell Tom on your back program and talk about the metaphor of skydiving? Cause that's like, you see what I mean? You could use stuff like that. What, so what fun personality traits are, do you have? Does anybody have anything that you're like, ooh, ooh, ooh. besides Jenny, damn rock star woman skydiving. That is not on my bucket list ever, ever, ever. So anybody have anything they want to share? Or like, what about this? And it doesn't have to be wild. It doesn't have to be adrenalinized. It could be like, I've had seven surgeries, you know? Mine, sometimes I say, I'm the kind of blend of like re um, uh, reverent and irreverent. So I might swear and pray in the same sentence. What? And I've actually had people say, I am I hired you because you swear. And I'm like, hell yeah. You know what I mean? So it could be just a little thing. It could be just a tiny little thing. Okay, Janice, go. Um, I love to travel and I've been to 45 countries and six continents. Um, and the nice thing about that is then I can talk about the journey that people are on. So for people that resonate and some don't, some, yeah, you know, yeah. are not to travel or whatever, and that's fine, but I can bring it into, um, into the work as well. Beautiful. They thought those are cool things. So fun, quirky Things somebody would somebody to say that's cool because we are like oh it's no big deal like so what I get colonics who cares you know whatever it is for you you maybe you sing karaoke or you hike a lot it doesn't have to be like it could be just stuff to add more like I didn't know Janet had two gorgeous dogs and I'm I'm like there's a husky and a black dog what I'm already more like oh, you're a dog mama oh I love you more already right just something like that that's it. So it could be just little things like that. Don't hide that stuff because we kind of go, oh, it's got to be professional. No, it's got to be relational, right? So I just want to hear how is this landing for you? So in your offers, you're not just all your professional service. You're like, here's the vibe. If you hang out with me, you're going to get probably go see dogs, right? I'm sure if you're going to work with Janet, you're going to see dogs. Janice will have a black cat wandering the streets <laughs> or the computer keys, whatever. So, so how is this part landing? Has it deepened it? And can you see in the marketing, in the, in the macro marketing, why you want to include it? When I think it's challenging to know for ourselves what that might Exactly. Be. Exactly. Like it's really, it's, yeah. So I, yeah, <laughs> that's what I got. Okay. So make a list, make a list, make, you know, if I ever say write 30 things, what I do when I used to do, I still do messaging for people. I literally would go over their list and I'm like, oh, that one, that one, that one. And the energy just pops. It tells me which one, it just literally calls which one needs to be highlighted. Um, Tammy, you are a fierce freaking mama. And how much have you moved in how many years? Um, well, actually 16 and 10 years. <laughs> 16, well, 16 times in 10 years. It will be this year, 16. Yeah. What? So 
to me, the fact that she's a fierce freaking mama and she's happily married after all these years, and she's mom 65. I'm like, Jesus, woman, those are just fun facts. It's not, it's not super vulnerable. It's not like, oh my God, and I was sexually exploited. You don't have if you if you right. do want to go there, if that's part of your work, feel free, right? Mm-hmm. But it can just be just little enough little connections, right? So Meryl, what else do you have? There's something else, Meryl, there's something else you're not telling. There's something else, darling. I mean, I'm very intuitive and I do put that in my marketing. Yep. Yep. Um, I had a nail salon for 30 years, so I'm very creative. Okay. Um, And I'm highly detailed. Okay. I have used a little bit of these things in my marketing. But I don't know that I know how to really bring that. Yeah, home. there's something with family. There's some family thing here. This is my pendulum. So, okay. Well, I mean, I'm most of the people that I'm working with is all about relationships, you know. So, no, there's something about your family, your answer, oh, your family, your lineage, or something about yeah. family stuff, or hmm. you know what that would be. No. They're saying there's something you're not revealing. And I'm not saying you're lying, but there's something right. about there's something in there. Um she acknowledged it. No, you haven't acknowledged it. Oh, there's okay. What is it? Yeah. Something about in your father's side. Something about your father, your father's is, is father. Something about your father. You know what that is? Well, it could be many things. My father was a very interesting man. Um, yeah, I mean, just go go to guidance for that. Just go. There's something in there. Okay. Um, it's not an overcoming thing. It's like it's like a. Um, okay. I'm hearing the word winning. There's something about winning. There's some like whoo, victorious or some, and I don't know what that would be. You know, so you message me later if you want. But there's something. And I don't even know that, but I'm just getting, giving you messages, but there's, yeah. I mean, you could go with, I had a nail salon and I'm super detailed and sometimes woo woo people aren't super detailed. So you have a very grounded while you have this beautiful access, you also have your feet planted, right? So that's good, but there's something else that's like, ooh, ooh, ooh. right? What nationality are you? Um, Russian and German. Hmm. Okay. Okay. Was there any overcoming? Was there any lessons learned? Like I pull on my Irish heritage a lot. You'll hear me talk about that a lot. And it's in relationship to the trauma and the and the famine and taking on my grandma's suffering, right? And so there, there's something there. Just 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 ask guidance. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah, just ask. Because literally they want you to know that. They're like, something's here you can also speak to. So okay. All right, my lovies, I want to hear what'd you get to do? We didn't do any clearing, but again, I guess, I guess you just needed information today. So what, what a lot of people said they want inspiration, right? So inspiration, wanted to get the basics. Um, did I did I nail it today? Are you walking with? Yeah, Jenny, go ahead. Um, I just wanted to say thank you. I got a lot today. Um, you the whole process and especially the the la- defining the path mm-hmm. and what is my personality and also you've really got me thinking with this last thing of not necessarily telling people or using it but also from the point of view of thinking of past skills of mine like yeah I've got a scientific background I've got an MSc in zoology and I love science and the brain and all that. And I'm very detail orientated. I'm also an editor and a science writer. But I ran a bar in Greece for two years. <laughs> and I've traveled a lot. And I've got a wild side. And I started playing soccer at 50. And I skydived for 15 years. And okay. so I've got this whole adrenaline side. But I was just thinking about the challenges in that bar and the craziness and some of my other travels and what happened. And I'm thinking... If I could do all that stuff and be a single mom and have two teenagers and all that craziness, I can do this. 
like it's just helped me to draw on my power. So thank you for that. Oh, good. And see, I don't really know you. Jenny's been on like three or four of my calls, right? And you're very beautiful and soft spoken. And I'm like, what you what what zoology like, what you read like what? So it gives a depth. It just gives depth. It gives it rounds out. I'm just going, damn woman, you got some power, girl. And I know you're kind of new in this. But I love that you tapped into the remembrance. So it's for us as well, but it also grounds for our audience. And you could say, I'm not your traditional healer. I ran a freaking bar. <laughs> right? Right? Like, Merle, I'm not just doing energy work. I'm so damn detailed. <laughs> right. Like you want it, like this, this is like the unique combinations. I once kind of went, I think it was a date. I don't know. Maybe it was just some wine where we were kissing. I don't know what it was exactly. <laughs> but I met a man. And my friend was like, he's a really spiritual. He does all these spiritual workshops. This was, I was single, of course, obviously. He's like, you should talk to him because he's really spiritual. You should network. Then I find out he's a Chippendale dancer on the weekend. I'm like, oh, 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 oh sunshine, let me do your marketing. Because I personally want my spiritual teachers to be like Chippendale. Like to me, the both sides the the sacral the in the body the the wild and then the the spiritual I thought that was so hot but he was hiding them and he was compartmentalizing and I'm like <laughs> now there are people that be like you are a piece of shit if you dance super nails and I'm like you're everything you're embodying all of it to me I'm a weirdo like that I want I want the body involved right and so I find those juxtapos juxtapositions or seemingly incompatible things like very memorable. And so, so Jenny, you probably never thought of owning a bar as massive credibility, right? But that's the thing. So this is so important. And, and this is the messaging, the branding, the marketing piece of like, let me tell you, let me tell you a story about how owning a bar is going to help you on your spiritual path. Boom. You link it. Okay. And Meryl, you got to get back to me about the father, the ancestor, because there's something that just keeps pulling me. It's just, it's throwing me into you. So we'll bounce it off. Okay. I want to hear takeaways. What did you take away from this call today? And thank I'm taking you away inspiration. Yeah. I'm sorry. Say that again, please. I'm taking away inspiration and more clarity Good. and playing with the personality piece more. It's like, that's something I haven't done a ton with. I think that will help you a lot. It'll help you stand out because you have so much. Oh my, your skill level is up here, but your visibility is down here, right? And I know because of, hello, 16 moves in 10 years, you're a little, right? <laughs> not top of mind. Yeah. All right. Kinda, what did you take away? Knowing that it's not exactly applicable, but hopefully you got some good stuff. What did you get today? Wait, sorry, are you asking me? Oh, who is? Yes, I'm asking oh, yeah. you. Yeah, I... I just feel inspired, especially this personality stuff is really fun. It was really inspiring to see others, you know, personalities yeah. come to life. And yeah, it was just like really, really like good information and inspiring. Perfect. So thank you. And a bit. Um, more clarity around using the, the tangible and intangible, is that what it's called? Uh, so much more clarity around that and the levels around that. And also uh, about my personality, I'm very good at seeing people's uniqueness and potential. And mm -hmm. that might be something I could use good. more clearly. Yeah. Good, nice. Janice and Janet. So Janice first and then Janet. Um, for me, this takes some of what I've been working on a level deeper. And I know that that's how I have to work in mm -hmm. terms of I have to start and mm -hmm. mull everything and work on everything and then I have to go down and mull and work in that level and then so that's that it's Beautiful. taken me down. well and you have so much already in place so you you have worked 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 you have a lot of really good structures already in place so maybe we can just you know right. push a little bit you know add a little more stuff so good job Janet I'm learned a lot um, on how to do it differently to um, I want to work. I know I need to work on my path more of what I can give them in the bridge. I call it a bridge. Yeah, I, perfect. Exactly. Yes. Got it. Um, the personality thing is inner intrigues me. So mm -hmm. Perfect. Uh, 
one love. Well, this has been great fun, my beautiful women. I'm sorry that, oh, it is still recording. Okay, I was gonna say it's not recording, but it came back on. All right, Um, next month, maybe we're doing Fearless and Soulful Sales. So some of you love selling, most of you don't, <laughs> but I can show you how to, how to really have a better relationship with the selling process. All right, reach out. If you need some support, let me know. And if you kind of have like, oh, by the way, I thought of this with personality. Oh, hey, what about this? You know, just feel free to message me and let me know what came up. All right. Mwah. Much love. Take care. Bye. Thank you.